In this video, we want to compare James Hoffman and Lance Hedrick's V60 recipe. See which one is easier to do, which one is easier to repeat, and which recipe works with more coffee. I'll go with James Hoffman recipe. And I'll pick Lance Hedrick's recipe. So let's get started. This technique that we use here may not work properly with other drippers. One of the reasons is that the bottom hole of the V60 is larger than other drippers. And because of that, water comes out faster than other drippers. The ratio that we use is 1 to 70. And in this brew, we use 50 grams of coffee and 255 grams of water. It's recommended that we grind our coffee a slightly finer than medium size. Always remember different filters have different effects. I use V60 filter here. After adding our grounds into the dripper, we make a small hole with our finger in the middle of the grounds. If we use light roast coffee in this recipe, the water that we use must be very hot. For dark roasted coffee, it's okay to wait 10, 15 or 20 seconds for water to cool slightly. But if we use light roast coffee, the water must be hot. Well, we turn on our timer and start to pour gentle and very slowly. Now here I pour 30 grams of water over coffee. And we have to be sure all of the coffee gets wet in this phase. As soon as we pour the water, we have to grab the V60 and start to swirl in a circular motion. That's because we want our coffee and water mixed together. After that, let it last for 45 seconds. We wait for the CO2 to come out of the coffee bed here. After 45 seconds, we start the next phase. At this stage, we pour 60% of the remaining water in about 30 seconds until the cone is almost full. Here, we must be careful not to pour aggressively into the V60. For example, because we use a small V60, I have to pour very gentle and slowly. Here, we enter the next phase and add our remaining water little by little in 30 seconds so that the cone remains full of water. After adding all of the water, we take our spoon and stir a little to one side and then to the opposite side. We do this to remove the coffees that are stuck to the side of the filter. And another reason for that is that the surface of coffee remains flat. Wait for the water inside the cone to draw down a little and then grab the dripper and rotate it a bit. Again, we do this to make the coffee bed flat. Now I use a double walled glass as a server to maintain coffee temperature so we can compare it later. This was James Hoffman recipe. Let's go to Lance Hedricks. This recipe is called 1 to 1. Again, we use 15 grams of coffee and 255 grams of water, which is a ratio of 1 to 70. And the size of the coffee is medium fine. In this recipe, we use cafe filter. Add the coffee into the V60. Then, with a stick, we make a hole in the middle of the grounds coffee like this. So that the water reaches the bottom of V60 faster. We take our boiling water and start pouring water slowly from a little high up. As you can see, the height should be about this. Then put the kettle in its place to keep the water hot. And we start swirling the dripper quickly. Here, like James Hoffman recipe, the reason is that we want water and coffee mixed together. Wait 2 minutes after swirling. Here, like the previous time, we increase the height and then pour water. Here, we pour water in the form of a small circle in the middle. And after a few seconds, we lower the kettle and reduce the height. And also reduce the intensity of the pour. Here, we enlarge the water drop circle. Then quickly pick the stick and only stir the upper layer of the water to push the fines into the walls. And then we take V60 and shake it a little. Do this again to make the coffee bed flat. Repeat the same process until the whole water enters the server. And that's it. In general, these two recipes are very good for V60. James Hoffman's recipe is a little easier to use. And this recipe works with most coffees. Lance Hedrick's recipe has more extraction, 
we also have more taste clarity. Two minutes wait is because more CO2 comes out of coffee bean and whole grounds gets wet better. Okay, that was it. Tell us your opinion about these recipes in the comments and which one do you prefer? If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Have a great day and cheers.